Okay, so I want to do some of the problems that people had trouble with. First one I'm going to look at is uh, exercise 9.2.7, which depended on example 9.2.6. So let me read this example. The set S is the real numbers except for minus 1. And we define a binary operation on S by A star B equals A plus B plus AB. Now the AB here means A times B, that's regular multiplication. This A star B is a new operation that's just been defined for this problem. We haven't seen it before, but it's a binary operation because it takes two numbers, A and B, and produces a result. So you're told that it turns out that S dot star is an abelian group, and in the chapter it's proven that closure and commutative hold, and the rest of the proof were parts of the exercise uh, 9.2.7. So if you remember what the other properties are, you have identity, and then you have inverse, and then you have associative. Now most people got identity, but just to tell you a general strategy for finding the identity, the identity will be an element, which I can call E, such that A star E equals E star A equals A. All right. Now you can take this and this expression and then you just solve for E. So how does that work? A star E, well, we have the expression for A star E up here. A star E will be A plus E plus AE. A star E equals A plus E plus AE. Okay? And that has to be equal to A, according to this identity condition, right? Because that's what this says. A, e, um, a star E is equal to A. All right. So we just solve for E. And you'll find E equals 0. And then you can check that E star A is also equal to 0. Sorry, my pen's not working too well. But E star A is equal to 0. Okay, so that gives us the identity. All right, now the next part is inverse. And to show inverse, sorry, you need to use the defining equation for inverse. Okay, so for, and remember that every A has a different inverse. So uh, A inverse dot a is equal to a a inverse is equal to the identity. Now in this case I know that the identity is equal to zero. So I can set this equal to zero. Okay? And then I can plug, I'm sorry, and I should have a star here because I'm using the star operation in this group. So there should be a star there also. So I can use this to solve for a inverse. Okay, so a, st a inverse star A or A star A inverse will be, uh, let's go with A star A inverse. You can check that A inverse star A will work the same. And this is just going to be uh, A plus A inverse plus A A inverse. Now this is regular multiplication. Now again, we already know that the identity is zero. So in order to find A inverse, we simply need to set this equal to zero. And like I said, we solve for A inverse. And the final thing you need to do is you need to check, because we want A inverse to be in S. So in order for A inverse to be in S, you need to check that A inverse is not equal to negative 1 because S does not include negative 1. So you need to check, this is important, you need to check that A inverse is in S, i.e. A inverse 
is not equal to zero. Okay, so let's move down a little bit and then we'll do the last part. And the last part is the part that people had the most trouble with. The last part is checking associative. Okay. Now associative means that A star B star C is equal to A star B star C. This should be a B star C. Okay. Now, notice that we're dealing with the operation star, not plus. Several people showed that plus is associative, but that's not good enough. We need to show that star is associative. So let's start with the left-hand side, A star B star C. Well, A star B is going to be A plus B plus AB. And then we have still the star C. Now, if you apply this star operation to these two elements, this first element here takes the place of our A, and this C takes the place of our B in the definition. So remember, the definition is um, A plus B plus AB. But now our A is the first element here, so that becomes A plus B plus AB. And then B is the second element, which is C. So that becomes plus C. Then you have plus A times B. Now remember, because we're taking this element, start with this element, this first element becomes my A in the definition, and this second element becomes my B in the definition. So I have to add plus AB in this case will be correspond to A plus B plus AB times C. Okay? So this is the result for A star B star C. Now in order to check associativity you need to compare that to A star B star C. Now what's that going to be? Well we have to do B star C first because that's in the parentheses. So this is A star and then B star C. The rule is you take the first operand plus the second operation plus the product. So this becomes B plus C plus B C. All right. All right, now we have to do the star of A with this result. So it's going to be first operand plus second operation, uh, operand plus the product. So this becomes A plus B plus C plus B C plus the product of those two. So that's going to be plus uh, A times B plus C plus B C. Now, to complete the proof of associativity, what we need to do is we need to show that these two quantities are equal. Right? You've got a quantity here. Sorry, I think it went off the edge there. Let me move this over a little bit, if I can. There you go. Now you can see it. So we need to show that these two quantities... The one I computed with a, from the first uh, expression and the one I computed from the second expression, whoops, somehow that switched. Those two quantities should be equal. So to show associativity, whoops, sorry. And you need to show they're equal. Okay, so this was the part that people had most trouble with. You have to show this part is equal to this other part here. Alright, so that completes the proof of this section here.